In this video, we're going to show you how to make this adorable sunflower centerpiece um, candle mat, however you wanna call it, but it just turns out so cute with a contrast of the green and the yellow. Very, very simple, and I think this video will show you how simple it is. Copy your pattern, Xerox five left and five right, and cut it down the middle. I usually leave a little section to a and then cut this one right on the line, and then tape it. It's got a little ledge. And then um, place that on top of two pieces of fabric that are right side together and thin polyester bonded batting. Then I'm gonna sew on the outside solid line, keeping this area here open for turning right side out. Then I'm going to cut on the outside dash line and I like to cut into these V's pretty deep, just so you don't compromise the stitches, but you do need to go right up to those stitches on both V's. <clears throat> you can cut across uh, the point as well. Then remove your paper, just rip it, make sure you get it out of the little seam lines, the seams like that. Just pin, just get those out. Okay, then we'll turn it right side out and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, now I've got all five units turned and pressed and I turned under the opening and I'm just going to blind stitch that closed, just hand stitch it. Then I've got my pattern for my petal and I'm just gonna mark the seam lines and then I'm gonna put two yellow, the yellow sides together, or the flower color together. And I make sure it's aligned all the way around, okay? And then just sew down that marked line and it will open up. Then the only thing left that I love to do and put a mark here on the pattern of where to do it, but you're just gonna do a little pin tuck. That's just a small little not even a quarter of an inch, it's even less. And it's about a half an inch long. Just a little tiny pin tuck so it's not very bulky. And that's gonna shape our petals just beautifully. Just a little detail. Okay, I'm gonna put this together. We're gonna put all five units together and we'll show you what that looks like. Now we've pin tucked each of our petals and we also pin tucked, well, it's a little more than a pin tuck. So we lined up the back leaf and we did a deeper dart here on the back and we'll give you the dimensions in the pattern and then that gives a really nice ripple here dimension on the green and then when we tack these down I don't tack them right on the edge I kind of hold them back and tack right inside and that keeps that dimension popping and then there, it's just perfect. Look how cute this is. $2 download on her website. And I we're trying to figure out how to have it be come as a hard copy. It'll cost a little bit more because of the printing and shipping. But I think for those of you that can't download, we're working on another option. Hope you enjoy this. I think it turned out gorgeous. Thanks for watching.